everyone, and welcome to a short video on Pokemon Go. Today, we're gonna go to the- <laughs> It's always good when it starts like that. So as long as you ignore this background mess and all this jazz, just for a second, we're gonna talk IVs. Not EVs, IVs. See what I did there. So IVs and EVs have been in Pokemon a long time. However, they haven't really been implemented into Pokemon Go. But now they have. Recently, there was an update and IVs now are. That whole saying, maybe she's born with it? Well, actually, some Pokemon are. And as, as far as I'm aware, EVs do not exist. So, we're not gonna talk about EVs. It's confusing. We're just gonna stick with IVs for now. But what's the best way of saying it? When you catch a Pokemon, it's either gonna be good or bad, basically. It's like genetics. Every Pokemon has a stat in, uh, there's only three stats, of course, I'll talk about. And that's HP, Attack, and Defense so far with Pokemon Go. With EVs, you could usually progress a Pokemon to be good, even if it was bad, like its potential is bad. Whereas this game, you might just catch a Pokemon that's crap and there's nothing you can do about it. So now this game has sort of introduced a way of mass catching Pokemon is better than, you know, catching one or two because you might catch a really good Hitmonchan, but its potential's crap. So we're gonna go over whether that actually makes a difference. Because in Pokemon, all the console games, Game Boys, what have you, IVs did mean a lot. And to a point where people would breed only for IVs. Because what's the point in actually training a Pokemon up to level 100 if it's going to be crap anyway, in comparison to something that is IV bred and EV trained? Again, I'm talking about EVs. They don't exist. Ignore them for now. Now, IVs. When you catch a Pokemon, that's it. It's going to be good or bad. Like this drowsy. Let's catch this drowsy and see if it's any good. So you're out in the wild, you're out about having fun. And a drowsy appears, and hopefully we catch it. Okay, so let's say we just caught the best drowsy in the world. It's the first drowsy. We don't want to catch anymore. Like, okay, so here you go. Here's, here's the screen. So you click on that, and you go praise. Now, depending on which um, team you're in, uh, uh. And it is, it's crap. Your drowsy is not likely to make much headway in battle. This is the worst you can get. It doesn't matter if she says the best attribute is attack. If you get that, it's crap. We're going to go over. I have some fully IV Pokemon uh, captured right now. So, uh, blah, blah, blah. It's crap. So, you can sell that instantly. And also, check a look. Look at those drowsy candies. Does it even make a difference? Because I have, as you can see, this is a Pidgeot. 100 and... Well, 1,195 CP. Pretty good. I mean, okay. Okay, it's pretty crap. But as far as Pidgeot Pidgeots go, it's pretty good. But that's not as good technically as this Pidgeot. Now, we'll check this appraise. Um, not likely to make much headway about at all. So it's crap. Okay. According to the game, this is crap. It's got crap IVs. But we're going to max up both of these and see which is the best. So this, this, uh, this right here is what you're going to be looking out for. When you click appraise... Uh, she goes, oh, wonder, what a breathtaking Pokemon. Its best attribute is HP, equally attack, and equally defense. This means that it basically is a max IV. This is the best Pidgeot you can get in the game. Technically, you, you, could, you could get it too. But what I have noticed is eggs are the best to breed. For. If you hatch a Pokemon out of an egg, you're more likely to have a chance of getting good IVs. So um, I have, I have th how much? 366,000 star, uh, Stardust. Uh, and I'm gonna power up. We're gonna power up this Pidgeot as well as the one that is pretty crap. And we're gonna see just what the differences are with attack. You can't really check defense though. Uh, HP. HP is probably gonna be the one we're gonna see the difference in. Okay, let well, let's do this! That was a weird glitch. You see that? The, the bar, like, reset. Yeah, it's, like, resetting. It's, like, it goes to some point and then sets back. Like, that. now it's really full. Okay. I have no idea what the hell's going on. And there we go. That is the highest Pidgeot I can get. Like, powering up-wise. So, it has 126 health. And it, attack is 15. And air cutter is 30. But I'm pretty sure that's just a base for what it does. Now, this is the max CP, well, IV, max IVs, max attack, max defense, max, ma <laughs> max health. It's not even max yet. I, I can power it up. What is going on with this game? 
What? Okay. So this is the difference between just a regular Pidgeot that you can stardust up, max it up CP level as much as you can in comparison to a max IV. This Pidgeot is 1,643 CP level as well as 126 health, 15 steel wing and 30 aerial ace. I'm pretty sure that's just generic. I don't know if that really makes a difference. Leave in the comments if it does against a one that is just normally maxed. So 1,480. So the max actually has 100 and what, 60? 163 extra CP level on just a regular Pidgeot. Um, however, it does have normal HP. Its health is exactly the same. Its stats are exactly the same, but for some odd reason, its CP level is higher. So as far as I'm aware, IV level only means that it can actually get a higher CP level. Um, it has exactly the same health as a regular Pidgeot. So it's, uh, what? so it's really, what's the point? It just has a higher CP level. That's it. Maybe CP level means that it, you know, it fights faster. Maybe it means it has more defense. Maybe it does more attack. Possibly. That's possibly what it is. So as far as I'm aware, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to close it. I'm going to go back in, see if there's any difference. No, that is it, Max. So... Max IV is potentially stronger. There is no way for us to check it at this moment in time, but that is it. It could technically be stronger than a regular one. However, the stats show that it has exactly the same HP level. And you know, this is pretty high level. It's at 1,600 CP. So you would have thought there would be maybe one or two health, like HP difference, but there isn't. It seems like every Pokemon that I'm aware of will have the same amount of HP, no matter what IV it has. So, I mean, while I'm here, I actually, I, I just want to throw out a lucky egg and um, get some evolutions that I don't, I've never done before, and I was saving for a video. Oh, it looks awesome! Ah! Charbuck! Awesome! Yeah! There it is! Great! Yeah! Never found one of these in the wild, and I've been playing this for... Probably a month and a bit now, I think. So something like that. And what's interesting to me is seeing all the other YouTubers that play Pokemon Go putting shinies in their thumbnails. And <laughs> it's just like, come on, dude. Th th you can't get shinies yet. You're clickbaiting. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, there's a lot of people that I knew uh, that play Pokemon that have now just stopped playing it. I gotta check the hair. A oh, haircut, it's too short. So, the thing is, it grows back. Best thing. Yeah! So, this has max HP attack. Ooh, it's just missing defense. So, instead of evolving a, uh, a Weeping Bell with crap stats, I would rather evolve a, um, a Bell Sprout. Oh, God, don't transfer it. <laughs> I'd rather evolve a Bell Sprout, costing an extra 25 uh, candy to a Victory Bell for it to have good stats. Victory Bell doesn't have any further evolutions, further down the line. Uh, so I can, I can use these candies, not worry about it. Whereas Pokemon like Zubat, you get Crobat, and that leaves a lot to sort of know about because Machamp, you transfer, usually, but here you don't. Uh, I think Victory Bell, you Leaf Stone, here you don't. Same with Eevee, so Crobat is happiness. So it's like, uh, are you are you gonna get a crowbat by same candy way or is it gonna be a different way by maybe feeding it poffets? I think they were. It was something like that. This one has max uh, HP and attack, not defense, however. But um, I don't bump into magnemite, my, my, <laughs> magnemite too often, so I'd rather have um, a magneton just to fill in my Pokedex. Ah, uh, let's go for attack. So exec executor actually has a new mega evolution. It's not a mega, it's like, oh, uh, what's that new region called? Something like, oh, 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 it's something like that, but it's got a new evolution. Uh, as well as a lot of Pokemon, actually, it's like an ice type for sand slash, which I thought was a hoax until I look in, looked into it. And I was like, what? Okay. So Executor 1,600, and look at all that, it's got to level up, that's awesome. Um, but I had a story with Marowak and the Cubone and how, like, the first Cubone put on the skull of its mother, and like, I storyboarded it, a lot of it is actually done. Um, but it's, it's ages ago. I think I did show it in a stream, like, like I said, ages ago back. And I have enough for a 
reason, Coughing is quickly growing to be my favorite Pokemon. Just look at that face. He's like, ah. Oh, yay. Chuba. Yeah. <laughs> so we had 50 CP. Um, I'm going to say 100. Maybe double. 99. <laughs> it had to do that, didn't it? Uh, yeah, we'll be close, but just... Uh, just to piss them off will be a tiny bit less. Well, guys, enjoy this video. I know it's just a little quick short one. I just wanted to show you guys what the difference is between a normal, like, Pokemon you catch that could be crap and a normal Pokemon you catch that has max IV. So, really, HP, no difference. Attack doesn't seem to be any difference. Uh, the only difference is CP level, which, I mean, that could raise the attack. I don't know. It has more defense. But as far as looks-wise goes, it looks the same, it just has more CP level. So it probably is better, but again, not too much. I was expecting maybe 10 HP or 20 HP, but there you go. So enjoy the video, guys, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye!